As you can see here, I'm getting this error. Welcome to PHP My Admin Invalid Settings. Access denied for user root. If you have user PMA, this is how you solve this too. So let's try to reconnect and still I'm getting the same error. Go to your XAMPP control panel. And as you can see, my Apache and my script both are running. Now go to the directory where XAMPP control panel is installed. You can just click on Explorer. XAMPP directory will open. And now go down to PHP My Admin and go down to config.in.php and open it. Now, as you can see here, we have user and password. Now, this is what phpMyAdmin is using to log in. Now, password is empty. If you have set a password to your root user for your root user or any other user in case you have PMA for your PMA user, enter PMA here if you have PMA as the user. But I have root, so I'll just leave it as it is. And if you had set a password and you remember the password of your root user for MySQL, enter the password here. If you have not, I will show you how you can fix that too. So if you have set, if you had set a password and you remember the password, enter your password here. And if you don't have a password, then but something else was here, just remove the password and save the file and go back to your phpMyAdmin and enter it again. And now, you, as you can see, I'm inside phpMyAdmin. If you don't remember the password, then just leave user as root, leave password as empty. And let's see how we can do that too. Okay, if you don't remember the password, stop both the services. Click on this config next to MySQL. Click on my.ini and it will open in Notepad. Go down to this MySQL D section and here write skip grant tables. What this does is it will not check username and password whenever you're logging in. So you can close this and just to show you guys that this is working without the password also i'll just add something wrong here i'll just add a random password here and now i will start both the services remember we had added skip grant tables in this config for mysql now let's open this again now as you can see even with the wrong password i am able to go inside my php my admin but you need to set the password of this PMA or root or whatever you as user you are using to something that you can remember. So you can just go here and change the password. Okay. And after you've changed the password and you remember the password, go ahead to your config.in.php for phpMyAdmin and set that password here. And in your MySQL, again, go back to your my.ini and remove that skip grant tables because being able to log in with that password is highly insecure so we remove this now and we stop the services start the services again well you just need to start mysql no need to stop apache and now we have the correct password in place we have reset the password and we are back in our my admin